I am so excited that I'm here with my good friend and <laughs> recent mayor of Westlake Village, Kelly Honig. And I am so honored and thank you for the opportunity to sit and talk with you. Thank you, Lydia. We've known each other a long time, haven't we? We've known each other a long, a really long, long time. time. And yeah, it's wonderful. Have. And I love you. seeing you in this position. And you're doing amazing. And I'm just so honored that we're able to have this. Well, thank you for asking me. I appreciate it. So the reason we're together is a lot of people come and move to Westlake mm -hmm. Village. And they have a lot of questions about Westlake Village and the community. And I'd love for you to explain a little bit about what Westlake Village is, why is it the community it is, and you know how did it come about, and what's your interpretation of Westlake Village? Okay, thank you. Um, as you know, and you agree, Westlake Village is a fantastic place. It was a, a decision that my husband and I made to move here uh, about almost 20 years ago. Great decision. Um, the city of Westlake Village is actually all in Los Angeles County, but we also call the greater area extending into Ventura County Westlake Village because back when um, they first developed this area, they dug the lake, um, they intended to make uh, the entire area, a city, uh, excuse me, the entire entire area Westlake Village, but the state of California would not allow a incorporation of a city in two counties. So the founding fathers and mothers of Westlake Village had to choose to incorporate either in Ventura or in LA County, and they chose LA County. So the city is actually a city in LA County, but we still have neighbors who live in the greater Westlake Village area. Love that. So when you say LA County, a lot of people are like, LA County? LA City? LA County? Mm -hmm. Like We are the westernmost city in LA County. Uh, we are right on the border. As you know, in our neighborhood, LA County and Ventura County are right next to each other, just a few blocks away from each other. So Westlake Village City is the westernmost city in Los Angeles County. Another and, fun fact. And basically a fun fact of its own school district. And let's talk about what makes Westlake Village so wonderful. We do. Are, we are part of the Los Virginis School District. And we have a elementary school in our city called White Oak Elementary where our children went. It's a fantastic amazing school. school. Amazing school. Um, the city of Westlake Village does a lot to support White Oak Elementary, both financially and in through services like we provide the crossing guard and do a lot of things and we try as a city to stay very close to White Oak Elementary do fun things with them um, their the kids art is featured in City Hall every month and uh, we're pretty active with White Oak Elementary it's and our kids go to Lindero Canyon Middle School and to Agora High School and I remember one of the things that we loved so much when we moved here was the school bus Yes, yes, like yes. There's, there's a <laughs> Thank school you for, bus. There is. Thanks for asking that and bringing that up. I forgot about that. The city subsidizes the school bus. So unlike many cities now, we still actually have a school bus system, which my kids and your kids rode. And, and the, the kids still ride it every um, day. It comes into all the neighborhoods of Westlake Village, uh, goes to White Oak, Lindero, and Agora High School. It's and partially subsidized by the city, which is fantastic. Fantastic. And just a quick note on that. The school bus only takes children to White Oak, then comes back, and then only takes kids to Lindero. So they don't mix high school and elementary schools. And it's just... They do it. not, yes. And the logistically, it's pretty tricky to get that timing down, but we've got it down. Um, and bus passes every year are available here at City Hall and for a really reasonable price for the whole year. And it's great. My kids love the bus until they got... So let's talk about the people that are moving mm -hmm. here. Why... I see a lot of reasons why I mm -hmm. think why people are moving here, but from a city perspective, it's a very family oriented. Let's talk a little bit about what does the city of Westlake Village have to offer for both families and non-families, but there's a lot to offer. There is so much in Westlake to offer. Um, we have eight parks and including a new dog park just around the corner here. It's a small but very mighty dog park that's very popular with our residents. Um, we completed in last year's a very large community park up at the top of Thousand Oaks and Lindero Canyon, which includes a amazing YMCA facility. It was a joint uh, venture between the city and the YMCA. Incredible, three baseball fields, soccer, everything, Y, 
it's really it's fabulous. It's fabulous. We and actually have a video go on our website on the YMCA. It's it, it's beautiful, mm -hmm. nice interview, lots of activities, but keep going. Yeah, and then we just you know pretty much every neighborhood, not every neighborhood, but. Uh, you know, we have many parks here. Um, it's really important to the city to have this park space, maintain it to a very high level um, with kids' equipment and activities for uh, people of all ages. We just completed a beautiful sidewalk project on Lindero Canyon. The, uh, we call it the meandering sidewalk, which is a um, very picturesque, walk mile long from um, Lakeview Canyon all the way up to Agora Road uh, with seating and a uh, place for your dogs. It's really fantastic. We're getting a lot of great feedback on that. Beautiful, yeah. one of, that's one of our goals as a city was, you know, we have a sidewalk plan that extends out for many years and we're trying incrementally to increase the amount of walking availability for our residents, which is really important to us. And activities, so, there's a lot of activities that oh, the yes. city of Westlake Village puts on. We do, we have a whole summer concert series that goes on every summer beginning in June um, with a variety of activities, uh, excuse me, a variety of concerts of different types for our residents from uh, concerts in the park in one of our parks, Bernice Bennett Park, to Things we have here at City Hall, like big band concerts, we have sometimes the newest symphony comes and does a production here, uh, Caneo Players. Um, so this goes on from June till September. At the same time, we have a trolley. Westlake Village has a trolley, which is really It's adorable. Great. It's, a, it's an adorable. Singing on the trolley. Yes, we so have entertainment on our trolley, and yeah. our trolley takes a meandering route through the city, so if you want to go out on Friday night, you can hop on the trolley, go down to the restaurant of your choice or to the stone house have a drink have dinner hop back on the trolley and go home it's fantastic yep. Yep. Um, we have Westlake Village reads uh, which we do in conjunction with the library um, uh, you know activities we have a whole we we contract with the Caneo Park and Rec uh, district for a variety of classes that are available to our uh, senior members of the community they're done right here in the room. We've got Tai Chi, we have yoga, we oh have Zumba, we have all kinds of things. They're packed, very reasonable. I believe that the price for an eight week program is about $10 for oh a, a senior resident. Again, subsidized by the yes, city. Yes, <laughs> it is. And they're very popular, really popular, yeah. So. so lots of activities, 4th of July, I think Oh yes, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, just remind me. Uh, we've had the 4th the of July parade in Westlake Village for 50 years. Oh my God. Last year was the 50th anniversary, this year will be the 51st. So it's a traditional old town parade where we walk from Lake Buchanan to Bernice Bennett Park. And then we have a bunch of activities in the park from bouncers to games to a DJ to Boy Scout ceremony. Um, yeah, 50 years we've been doing that. And so here, it, I think on Halloween, mm -hmm. there's a Halloween festival. City Celebration, City Celebration. which takes place in um, October, usually a couple weeks before Halloween. One of our biggest events uh, of the year where it's just that. It's a city celebration. We are here to showcase you know, how fantastic Westlake Village is. We have music, we have food, uh, we have a haunted house put on by the, uh, I believe it's the Y. The, um, there's something for everybody to do from a one-year-old to a 90-year-old on City Celebration. It's a really big deal. We, it's one of our favorite days of the year. So lots of activities, yes. lots of festivals, mm -hmm. lots of things always going on in the city for people. What about the Westlake Lake? What, what's going on? The Westlake Lake is actually privately owned by the homeowners um, that surround the lake. Uh, there is a section of the lake that is open to the public. You can um, use a boat on the lake. Uh, those pontoon boats that are available, available for purchase. Um, there's usually a waiting list. As you can imagine, it's a very popular activity. We have a yacht club. On the lake, it's a private club, but um, there's, you know, if you were interested in joining it, they have a ton of activities um, that go on there, and uh, you can go down there and feed the geese. We used to do that when my kids yeah. were small, yeah. and it, you are, uh, they do have a whole sailing program, which is quite unique. They actually have a sailing school for kids, yeah. um, very popular. Um, members of their sailing school have actually gone on to compete in 
very large sailing, I think the word is regattas and other you know, races. Yeah. So it's quite, it's quite an important part of the and city. And a couple restaurants down yes, there. Yes, it's a, the landing. The we landing have a very nice select. Yeah. Lots of restaurants uh, down there, there. The coffee shop. There now. is a new coffee shop down there, which I've heard, I heard very good things about. I'm about scheduled to go there with someone else pretty soon. Um, the three restaurants that are there, some shops, and it's the landing's a great place. A lot yeah. of people spend time there on the weekends just walking around the lake. You're able to walk partially around the lake. Um, it's really nice. It's very lovely. A uh, couple hotels are in Westlake Village. Three, actually, hotels. We have three hotels. We have the beautiful Four Seasons, the fantastic Westlake Village Inn, which is in the middle, the final stages of their new spa project. I can't wait. I know. I took a tour. It's amazing. Oh, I can't wait to can go there. Can we do a spa day? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, we always wanted to do we a spa did. day. <laughs> we can definitely do a spa day. And then we have the Residence Inn over by the Target Center, also a, a very busy hotel, especially for business travelers. So they um, are a very important part of our community. They generate a lot of tax revenue for our city, which enables us to beautify the sidewalks and that, uh, and spend money on our programs for our residents. So they are um, really important and very, very good residents of our city. We're very proud to have them. Yeah, the fact that we have a Four Seasons here in the Westlake Village is amazing yeah, and yeah. it's beautiful it and is. great restaurants. Great place to just go for lunch or dinner and you know if people come from out of town you can take them over there and as you know this at the Westlake Village Inn the Stone House is so Stone popular. Is it's so a popular. fantastic place. Yeah and she did say Target Center so there is a target in Westlake Village. There is a target in Westlake, Westlake Village, Westlake. yes. Uh, a couple businesses. Uh, you mentioned earlier that there's a business that just moved from Agora, the Hilton. Uh, yes, the Hilton Foundation moved here from Agora Hills and uh, into the former Dole Building um, right across from the Four Seasons. That we're very excited about that. It's a, an amazing organization, as you know, very prestigious. So we're excited to have them as residents and have had an opportunity to meet a couple of their uh, employees um, as they come into our city so it's uh, it's really exciting that's great yes it sounds like Westlake Village is huge with all of these things how big is Westlake, Westlake Village? Village is 5.4 square miles Amazing. and we have approximately 8,500 residents um, which you know Tiny. varies from from year to year but it's really a small city uh, but very mighty yes it's a bit we have a we're a, a big city in a small city's body. <laughs> so how do you keep it from getting out of hand? We, as the, that is our job as the council, the most important part of our job as the council, and there are five council members, um, is to keep control locally. In other words, we, there, are, there are state laws, there are county laws, there are many things that affect our daily life here in Westlake Village, but it is our job to safeguard our local community. And it is your local community that has the most impact on your life. Where you drive, where you shop, where your kids go to school, where you hike, where you swim, where you, what you do for fun. So that's our job. Our entire focus is on safeguarding and keeping the way of life that we know to be exemplary here in Westlake. And yet still modernize with town. Absolutely. Very tough balance. It is hard to balance because we, we work very hard at preserving the quality of our community um, with changing times. And that's, that's a tough one, but that's what we do. So, so. changing times, mm -hmm. we know that there's a mandate on housing projects. Yes. So how does Westlake Village plan on keeping the community? What's on, what's on the agenda for the council and your job for the... Yeah, that's a great question. And that is, a, that is going to be a really big part of the year coming up. Um, because as you said, as you mentioned, the state has mandated that every city in the state of California has to provide a certain they use the word allocation of affordable housing. Um, the one size fits all formula that is on the table right now is a very difficult situation for cities like Westlake and, and our neighbors as well. Um, in order to, to solve this problem, which we are required to do by the state, we're in the process of developing uh, the North Business Park specific plan, which is a plan for development of the area that is north of the freeway, 
kind of north of the Four Seasons behind Calvary Community Church, Via Colinas, La Corsa, up to Thousand Oaks Boulevard behind the Guitar Center. That's not a very... So if you know the Barclay, if yes. you know, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we have, a, we have a pet hotel. We do have a pet hotel, yes. We have a private school over mm -hmm. there, but anyway, go on. So that area, as you said, has many, many different kinds of businesses. There are at least 50 different property owners in the there. It has traditionally been a more business-oriented area, more of a commercial area. Um, we're in the process, together with the community board, of developing a development plan for that area that would include um, affordable housing encompassed within a more dense residential mix of business and housing. So we're talking about probably plans for condos, townhomes, apartments, keeping in mind we want to preserve green space and also have retail restaurants and probably some you know continuation of commercial business there so we hope to bring that plan um, to the council for final approval this year hopefully by june wow. but you know it, it depends on a lot of things but um, the benefit of a plan like this is that a developer who might or a business owner who might be interested in selling their business or uh, selling a piece of property for development as housing can know in advance exactly what the city requires, what the city wants to see, what they're going to have to do to meet those goals, and what the state is going to require. So it's really a great way to incentivize developers to take a look and see, are you going to be interested in this? And is this going to work for you? Um, an example of this, back in the early 90s, the city, before I was part of the city, developed a, what we called the Westlake, I believe it was called the Westlake North Plan. And that was the area that encompassed Costco, Target, the Renaissance housing development. Um, and all of those things were developed and built pursuant to that plan. And the Target Center was the last of those, of the development of that area. And it was very carefully planned, very carefully executed. And the end result is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. A beautiful shops, Target Center, the Renaissance housing, beautiful. Uh, yeah. So we work really hard on things. Westlake is one of the earliest planned communities in the entire country. The city was planned literally from the bottom up. And we, and we have a general plan. Um, that we try to adhere to very closely preserving our style of living that people are so grateful for and happy to live here, me included. Me included. <laughs> and I would just say we're just so uh, lucky, right, and blessed to be able to live in this community. It's uh, safety-wise. Yes. Uh, incredibly safe, incredible activities, incredible growth, you know, and yet still keeping very small community and neighborly. Yes. Um, is there anything else? Um, so that's amazing for a housing project to be able to come to Westlake Village and be mm -hmm. able to be, you know, come through the state but be planned within Westlake Village. Right, so, so a developer knows right up front, okay, this is what I'm gonna need to do if I wanna come here. Perfect. Very helpful on both ends. So in closing, is there anything else you want to share with us as the new mayor of Westlake Village? And we're just, again, so thankful that you took the time to be It's with us my today. pleasure. It's my pleasure. I am very proud to be the mayor of Westlake Village. Um, it's an unbelievable place to live. Uh, I did want to say, uniquely, um, this year in 2020, uh, the mayors of four of our adjacent cities are women, Calabasas, Agora Hills, Malibu and Westlake Village. And this is significant because in 2020, we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, the passage of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote. It's amazing. It is amazing. So the four women mayors have gotten together. We're going to be doing a, a community project together, um, which I think is is something to celebrate. Is something 100%. to celebrate, absolutely. It's a, it's a great opportunity and it says a lot about where we are today in Westlake. 
So, uh, I love it. Yeah, thank I you. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Lydia. So as you can see, there is just so much going on in Westlake Village, and it, it really is a great community. It's a great place to raise your family. It's a great place to retire and live. There's lots of activities, lots of opportunities. There's so much more that we can, if you have questions, we can give you mm -hmm. uh, Kelly Honig's mm -hmm. uh, email you can ask her specifically she's wonderful and there's meetings and anything you could want but i'm just so honored and thankful that i know her and we we're able to spend the time so if you have any questions again thank you for watching and we'll see you next time around thank you thank for you. having me lydia you i bet. appreciate being here